image alignment is the, the very first step in terms of processing of a structure from motion software. When you align images, the software, in this case, edges of MetaShape, but the what I'd like to show you in this video is exactly the same for many other structure from motion softwares. The softwares take in count each image of the data set and examines it in order to find some features point for each images. Then a pair of images is um, is controlled, is checked in order to see if features point of one image can be somehow matched with features point of the other image. If this happens, what, what that means is that the features point that are placed in the two-dimensional space of uh, the, the image reference system becomes a 3D point in the space, in the 3D area. And that's a point of the sparse point cloud, the tie points or matching points. In this video, I'd like to, to focus your attention on some settings that you have to choose when you, when you tell the software, when you tell Agisoft Metashape to proceed, to proceed with the image alignment. Especially, I'd like to talk with you about the accuracy and I'd like to show you what happens when you downscale an image so you choose a lower accuracy settings for the image alignment process. So, when you, when you upload the images inside Agisoft Metashape, you have the images here if they are somehow related to a GPS device. These are aerial images taken by a drone so they have information about the position and so they are listed they are positioned in the space if you'd like to launch the alignment workflow align photos as you can see all these other processing here all these other comments here are not um, enabled because structure from motion is kind of a cascade processing you need to have something done before in order to do something next so if i'd like to have if, if i'd like to build a dense cloud i need to have a sparse point cloud if i need to if i'd like to have a, a mesh i need to have a dense cloud so in this case the very first step that you can do and the only step that you can do in this processing is aligning pictures so align photos and here you got a box here we got uh, a window that is divided in two these are general settings and these are advanced settings in this video i'd like to talk with you just about accuracy i'm not going through processing even if you see here there are some chunks with some process that i already done um, i'm gonna go through them in the next videos what is accuracy if you click here in this over this menu, uh, by default there is written high accuracy. You can choose between highest, high, medium, low, and lowest. Accuracy is a way. Uh, accuracy accuracy stands for how deep the software will analyze each picture in order to find features point for each of the pictures of the data set. That means that if you choose high the software will analyze pictures at their original sites, well, at their original resolution. If you move from high to medium, from medium to low, from low to lowest, you divide the resolution of each image by a factor of two for each side. That means that you downgrade an image and that means that from four pixel of a high resolution, high accuracy or original resolution, you will have one pixel left in this kind of processing of, of downgrading. I'm gonna show you with an example. Here's a, a drone that a drawing that a sketch that I did. Here's a picture. Imagine you have a picture that is eight pixels on the eight pixels here in the long in the longest la side on the length and six pixel six pixels tall if you have 
here pay attention here you got two pixels on the side and two pixels on the side if you downscale this image dividing by two this side and this side you got a new image which is four pixels long here and three pixels high these four pi pixels now are just one pixel what happened it, actually what happens is that if you take four picture pixels and make them uh, transform them into one pixel you can have two four a lot of pixels here and they become just four pixels you lose a lot a lot of a lot of information the images lose a lot of information and information need to be read in this particular case as details if you downgrade an image you lose details if you lose details the software will find less features point than a pictures with a higher resolution if the if a software finds less features point it will have less features point to match with other images and you will have at the end of the process a sparse point cloud that is made by fewer point matching points rather than a point cloud that is made why that is made that is made from images that has been analyzed at their original resolution but let me show that with another example let's move in photoshop here i've got four pictures well actually it is the same picture that i downscaled here I moved from this picture which is 6000 pixels length to this picture which is 3000 pixels length 1 1500 pixels length and 7 750 pixels length as you can see the overall image the overall images are uh, exactly the same and they you can uh, absolutely understand what's inside these images moving from the lowest resolution one to the highest you can see cars here there's a roundabout here there's the road there's a couple of boats here uh, there are signs here there's you, you see you can see these elements in these pictures and you can see the same elements in these pictures the lowest resolution one but if i move if if i zoom here in this area so i'm, I'm gonna check this area with this target and all these kind of uh, blocks here on the floor and let's go from 6000 pixels so the original is resolution pixels where i can clearly see this target the center of the target these blocks these are blocks that makes the floor make the floor um i move if i move from 6000 pixels to 3000 pixels um images here the 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 edges of these blocks are not so sharp anymore then i'm going back to 1500 pixels this became a kind of a patchwork and are not so defined as they were before i can barely i can see these elements here but i cannot see the edges in uh, in a clear way and then eventually if i move from to the 700 pixels everything is blurred i i lost a lot of details so how can i expect the software to find features point in an image an image like that with a resolution like that compared with the same image at this resolution in this image there are a lot more details that the software is able to detect and fix in the features point of this image and this happens for each image of the data set so at, at the end in the end of this first phase and first step of image features detection i will have images with a lot of features point and from a lot of features point i am able to see a really um, a really high numbers in terms of uh, point cloud points of the sparse point cloud let's go back to edges of meta shape what i've just said to you is just, is just uh, sum up here so you can move from high medium low lowest or even going highest um, if you read 
edges of manual highest is recommended for pictures that has really sharp details but i i would add also um, that highest is maybe suggested for pictures taken by large quite large sensors so full frame cameras or medium format cameras otherwise mm, i do not see a greater enhancement of the data if i choose highest rather than high let me say that in my work i always align pictures with high accuracy except sometimes that i choose highest if i if i have a few pictures taken from my dslr camera uh, sometimes i can choose low or lowest just in order to see if the alignment is fine and kind of a pre-check of the data set that i have but then i always go back and work with high accuracy of course the higher the accuracy the longer it will take for uh, the longer the software will take for analyzing and uh, ending this processing so uh, if you have a lot of pictures take you, you better know that this process will take a little bit of time if you move from medium to high or from high to highest if you go back from high to medium or from medium to low it will be faster but in the end you will have less points of the sparse point clouds and this will affect somehow all the other steps of the structure from motion processing from dense point cloud to mesh to digital elevation modeling so in this video, uh, as you can see, I didn't start any process. I will do that in the next video. I will stay on the alignment inside Agisoft Metashape for uh, a couple of videos more and I will go in details in the settings that you can choose. So I hope that this was useful and I hope that you somehow better understood how accuracy affects the the choices and what the software actually does when it, it analyzes the pictures that are inside your data set feel free to fill the comments below or to contact me at www.metricaltalks.com thank you for watching ciao